Now this is a time you will be cooking some pig feet or some hog moths right about now. Now, yeah, cause this one is off the chain. Let's look at this, honey. I'm standing inside my parents' house with a hammer and a knife trying to defend myself and defend my family at any cost. I shouldn't have to live like this. Wendy Goldstein spoke to Fox 7 Tuesday, concerned because someone's pig had been going Somebody's after pig, her family. Geez. She described the pig as 300 pounds, black and white spotted, and oh. foaming at the mouth. On Monday, this 911 call came in. We had a random pig in our yard and I by my grandma. My grandma is being attacked by a random pig. Now my grandpa's being attacked. There's a wild hog in the yard at that address. It is going after no, it's in house now. Mud stains and scratches could be seen on the door. Goldstein says the pig went after her daughter and uh, disabled parents. Disabled parents. My daughter got hurt out here. And then he barreled through. My mom wrestled with him at the doorway to try to prevent him from coming in. He barreled on through, got a hold of my dad. My mom tried to lay on top of him to crunch him down until the cops got here to get him. And he overpowered her and got on oh, top of him. Oh, my goodness. Her. And he had hers flattened like an accordion. Wow, that's crazy. How many a pig? Baby, that's time to get that knife and we're going to be having pig feet, pork chops, hog mouths, <laughs> oh. chitlins, um, hog nose. We're going to be having up, honey. It would have been chopped up, cut up. We're selling parts. Who needs some meat? For that folk, they'll be coming running in my house and going to attack me. Now, who let a loose a 300 some pound pig? Who let it loose? Who did that? Then it gonna come and attack folk. And then laid on the grandma. She disabled and laid her out like, <laughs> laid on top of her, honey. Then she can't. I fallen and I can't get up. You know what? But you know what? I'm going to tell you one time. And it wasn't no pig. I remember one time, uh, I had my garage door open. My kids was younger. And all of a sudden, my garage door opened. And we opened the door. Some random dog come run in the garage. Ran in the house. Ran. We running through the house. Chasing us through the house. We running through the house all over the place. Running from this dog. I, needless to say, I was late to work. And I don't, it, 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 how can you explain that? The reason why you like to work with a random dog come to your house and chase you through the house. Like her, needless to say, the, 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 the psycho pig coming in and attacking you. Talking about you can't live like this. Well, baby, if you living on the farm or, or on a, in a, in, 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 over there in the, in the trailer park like that where they random, you, it liable to happen. I thought they, you know, a lot of people have pigs for pets and play with them. Ah. I guess you didn't want no pet pig to play with. Mm -hmm. But flatten her like an accordion, the, 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 the disabled grandma. How did the disabled grandma think she was gonna attack the pig? Maybe she got years of experience meddling with pigs cause they look like they, they back in the country somewhere. So she figured I could handle this pig. And if laid her out like an accordion. Yeah. Tell me what y'all would have done if y'all had an incident like that. Or if y'all had an um, attack of the pigs. That would have terrified me. That big, it would terrify me because I don't know nothing about I don't know nothing about pigs. I'm, I'm not in the country. So I would have been mortified. But they know about pigs, I guess. I don't know. Y'all, tell me what y'all would have done. How would y'all would have handled that? Tell me what you think. Because that's some crazy stuff right there. That's off the chain. But, anyway. Y'all make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, tell me what you think and how you would handle this whole thing. Baby. Because I would have had a feast. Pork fried rice. You know, jerk pork. You know, stew pork. We've been eating for 300 pounds. Baby, all y'all don't have no 
Don't eat pork. I've been eating pork for a whole year. Been eating good. Y'all stay safe and make sure y'all don't get uh, chased or hunted down by no pigs. All right? Till next time. Be blessed.